Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers YouTube channel guys today I am discussing very challenging topic in civil engineering and the topic is cantilever slab reinforcement details many students they were asking about this topic that sir what should be the reinforcement details for cantilever beam so today I will guide you if you want to design or if you want to construct cantilever beam for house so what should be the steel reinforcement details for cantilever beam so let's start guys the video will be little long but watch the video till the end i know it can help you so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video you can see guys this is rcc slab right and here at the corners this is column this is RCC column. So we have four RCC columns and green lines can show you the beam top beam and guys you can see on in the top beam you can also see here guys these are the stirrups okay So I don't want to waste your time just telling you here we have also steps for these two beams okay now guys forget about its column reinforcement details just I will discuss how to provide the steel reinforcement in cantilever slab so guys these are supports okay but the slab is this one as you can see guys this is the slab this one this is cantilever slab right okay about four feet or uh, 4.5 feet or one meter or 1.5 meter okay so how we can provide steel reinforcement as you can see guys uh, let me take the other marker i forgot okay guys so here in slave we have guys main bars and distribution bars so the bar should be bent near its support okay so also same like this guys okay with l by 4 distance like this okay also by this side okay so here we have main bars and distribution bars remember guys the bend the bar should be increase it should become same like this tell the cantilever beam also to this sides like this guys the steel should become it should be extend okay so suppose guys this is continue like this also it should become like this okay also to this side But the bottom bars, the main bar should not be increased, just the distribution bars or the bent top bar should be increased. Like this. Okay, same here. Now guys you can see same to this side and also on this side the bent up bar should be increased to the cantilever slab okay now guys how we can do the design now so as you can see these bars should not be placed at the bottom but the extra bars should be placed same like this guys from here okay so from this bar as you can see like this we have the bars okay so the extra bars should be increased also 
we will place the uh, cutting bar okay so we have uh, more cutting bars and that should be increased same like this okay so from there we will bind with binding wire so the extra bar should be provided also more same like this the extra bars now guys remember here we don't extend the beams not cantilever beam this is cantilever slab so if we have the cantilever beam so we don't provide the extra bars and we don't uh, need to do the specific or the proper design for this okay same here the extra bars should be as you can see guys this is maybe main bar okay so the extra bar should be also placed same like this to each sides at four side it should be increased now guys also okay it is done now guys we required here other bars same like this so it should be bind here with the columns columns and beam bars it should be increased same like this like this like this like this okay so the bars should be same like this here you can see guys these are also extra bars also at this at this corner same this okay these are extra bars so these bars the extra bars at the corner on each corner should be binding with the help of binding wire with beam and also with column reinforcement okay it should be binding and also same like this guys okay on each now guys we will place from here we will get start the other steel reinforcement but the bottom bar cannot work properly okay so the extra bar should be again placed same like this on the top of these bars like this okay now here you will have a question that what should be the spacing of this okay so you can keep uh, keep this sp uh, the same spacing for example six inches okay are uh, 15 centimeter or one of 50 millimeter okay so guys this is the method first the bent up bar as you can see guys uh, this is the the slab bent up bar okay near its support so the bent up bar should be increased to the cantilever slab on each side okay on each side but the bottom bar should not be extended okay because bottom bar cannot work properly in cantilever beam when you do the bent up bar when you extend the bent up bar in rcc slab and cantilever uh, in cantilever slab then guys you will provide the extra bars from here okay so after uh, with this beam as you can see guys this is the beam okay from this beam or from this steel bars okay so you will take the steel bars same like this extra bars after these extra bars you will provide more extra bars so that will be uh, binding with the help of binding wire from the rcc columns and also from the beam reinforcement then we will provide same like this shape okay same in each corners then we will provide the other extra bars same like uh, uh like main bars are distribution bars then guys you can cast the concrete on this then you can see it can uh it can be strong in the future okay so it will not be fail and it will not provide any cracks okay maybe uh if uh, you can take about uh, 1.25 meter tail you can keep the rcc sla uh, cantilever slab okay so guys this is the cantilever slab reinforcement details which i have discussed the front of you and also guys you can see the beam so in the beam bend, uh, bent up bar or crank bar is very important uh, which i have discussed the front of you here but this is for the slab this one okay so here guys we have also uh, as i told you in the starting that here uh, we have uh, stirrups and top beam so guys if you have any question about cantilever slab reinforcement details so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye